What is up everyone? My name is Zesty Mike and today we're gonna to be talking more about vlogging. Last week you guys left me with a lot of great questions and this week I decided to devote today's episode to answering them. First question is brought to you by how do you keep your vlogs interesting, decide what is actually interesting, and keep your ideas relevant? Unfortunately, not everyone can be fun for Louie or Ben Brown and have an adventure every single day. So sometimes keeping fun and entertaining vlogs can be hard. So here is what I recommend. First, ask yourself, do you enjoy your vlogs or would you sit down and actually watch your own vlogs? If you can go back and enjoy watching old vlogs of yourself, then chances are other people will be able to enjoy it as well. If you say no, that doesn't mean you have to give up and quit vlogging. That just means you need to change up a few things. Posting a vlog every single day isn't for everyone. It can be hard to find fun entertaining things to do every single day. However, you could still be a daily vlogger without posting a video every single day. When I first started YouTube, I began vlogging by doing a weekly vlog. In this, I vlogged fun things throughout every single day and at the end of the week, I combined them to make one really awesome and funny video. Chances are you could find one fun thing to do per week. If you have trouble making a fun daily vlog, think about doing a weekly vlog. You can film little things throughout the week and then the one fun day that you do something awesome, you can vlog that and make that the chunk of your vlog, making one really awesome weekly vlog. Now how do you keep ideas for your vlogs? Obviously some things are going to repeat, but it doesn't have to. To be honest, I'm a daily vlogger and every single day, normally, I notice something new. We've been posting a vlog for over 500 days. Life is full of fun and crazy and awesome things, however it is up to you to find them. Me personally, I keep a list of everything I want to do, places I want to visit, things I want to try, or restaurants, or even like life hacks. Whenever I see something or hear something, I write it down on a list so I can have it for whenever I have a vlog where I feel like nothing's really happening. I use an app called Asana. It is a task list. However, I use it to keep track of all the things I want to do in the vlogs. It's nice because it's also a mobile app or for desktop, so I always have access to it and I will never lose it and I have access on every single computer unless you lose the password. Second question is from Meriwether, and she asks, if you're a daily vlogger, is it better to cut out tedious things that you do daily in lieu of a shorter video, even if it means less visuals to show? I've had conversations with multiple different vloggers on this, and it seems like everyone has their own opinion. Some say just to post material just so you have it. However, me, I feel like if I can't post a good vlog, I'm not gonna post it because you guys deserve better. If you have nothing going on in the day but tedious and boring things, try to find a creative way to share it with the world. Let's say you're doing dishes, for example. Maybe do a song and dance with it, or find a creative way to do dishes, or even blow bubbles. Do something fun and unique for your vlog, because not only will the viewers have fun watching you do it, but you'll have more fun doing that boring and tedious task. Lastly, what camera do I use, and what is a cheap camera that I can use for vlogging? Now, I'm a filmmaker at heart, so my camera bag is always full with a bunch of different options. We shoot the majority of the vlog on the Canon G7X, however, I do have a bag up Canon ELPH 300 HS. Now this is just for when the battery dies or if something unfortunately happens to my main camera I have a backup. Now I also have a GoPro that I use with various different attachments to get some of those cool shots and then if we go to a place that I feel deserves some pictures I'll bring the Sony a77 with me and that can be used for time lapses or just more scenic type cinematic shots and it makes for more variety with the vlogs. And then lastly Brittany Sorry, my cat just jumped up. She carries the Canon ELPH 330HS on her just in case something happens while we're apart and she can still vlog for the vlog. Now, if you don't have a lot of money, what I recommend is looking into the Canon ELPH line. They're quite cheap and there's a wide variety of them. There's some that are a little bit cheaper. There's some that's more expensive. Chances are you can find one that will suit your needs and all of them are quite good. But anyways, guys, that's it for me today. If you have more questions, be sure to leave it down in the comments below. And if you wanna see more of my tips and tricks, you can click the playlist in the sidebar or if if you want to see more of me or my vlogging channel, you can click the link in the description below and come hang out with me every single day. But anyways guys, that's it and we'll see you next week. See ya! Impulse is produced by the Freedom Network. Ever wanted to earn revenue from your videos? Freedom offers a great partnership program which includes access to hundreds of thousands of audio tracks, sponsorships with great partners, and most importantly, a no lock-in contract. You can leave at any time for any reason. We accept everyone, both big and small. For more information, click here or visit the link in the video description.